What's good, YouTube? And welcome to the house. There are very few days in Yu-Gi-Oh! that are bigger than the ban list, and this is certainly one of them. We learned Master Rule 5, the update to the Master Rule, whatever you want to call it, that allows you to summon Xyz monsters, Synchro monsters, and Fusion monsters, all you can fit on your board like a buffet, and it's coming to the TCG on April 1st, 2020. So the market did erupt last night, hearing that the OCG was getting it. We knew we would get it at some point, but we're getting it at the same time. And you can bet our WCQ season is going to be hecked up. So right now, I wouldn't suggest doing buyouts or buying into the hype, but I would start studying and figure out what you want. Don't just go into the hype. Oh, 20 negates, best hand ever, hand loop destruction. Be calm, there's going to be multiple ban lists on the way to the WCQ, and Konami is known for preemptive hits in places like these. Rest in peace, Gofu. But that being said, if you are doing any of these buyouts, please use my TCG player link in the description down below, costing you nothing extra and supporting the channel directly. I can't tell you how to live your life, but please use that. Let's go ahead and get into what's already happening, starting with Bahamut Shark. This is a very good card for heroes to be able to protect their Dark Law and now Plasma and do so much for them because you can summon a totally awesome. But what's head-scratching to me is, yes, this has two older copies than Toad, but this is the means to the end, and the end is pretty hard to get as well, yet it didn't really spike in price. It only went up $1. And this is what people are headed towards. Yes, a lot of people do have their Toads. Maybe they had them for Necroz decks. Maybe they had them for other reasons. But I would think this card would have spiked just as much, if not more, because this is played in other decks besides just the combo decks that want to use Bahamut Shark. And this is the means to the end. So I think the market will correct itself eventually, and Toad will be worth more than Bahamut Shark at some point. I would definitely get your Toads sooner than later. Speaking of a penny stock that helps make Bahamut Shark, Rare Fish. Remember this being 20 freaking dollars once upon a time because it's an instant fusion target that helps make Bahamut Shark. Well, there's a huge quantity thanks to TCG Lowest here at 53 copies, and then it does start to spike pretty dang quickly. So I would consider getting this much sooner than later if you are considering that. And also, if we're talking Mermail Atlanteans, who also like to abuse this card, well, I would consider getting Ultimate Rare Abyss Gaios right now because it's very close in price to the Ultras and both are almost off market. So I would just go ahead and baby bump up in price and get that upgrade that is going to go a long way for you in price should this be spiking thanks to Deep Sea and now Bahamut Shark meeting the Mermails in the future. Man, that archetype is going to be so crazy a boost for the Mermail Atlanteans. Getting into the Synchro range, Ultimaya Zulkin. It's We were live streaming last night. A thousand of you guys showed up. Thank you for showing up and out. And I'm going to live stream again tonight to celebrate somebody's birthday, as well as hitting 50k on the channel. And now the new Master Rule. We're just going to have a party. So be sure to join tonight, 7 Central. The notification might not go out because I'm doing so many videos. But we saw Zulkin on stream at $25 and saw those disappear from from market how crazy is that and every single super rare has joined it disappearing and now the lowest listing is ten dollars for these ten supers i wouldn't be buying into this i'd be chilling and waiting but people went nuts last night just being able to go back a couple of years to combos they've been wanting to unleash and zulkin is at the head of that now a lot of zulkin boards i'm seeing created right now aren't the most impressive thing in the world. The hand looping scares me more, but maybe this is less likely to get hit because of that. And people aren't incorporating links as much as I'd like to see into the kind of boards that I want. But Zulkin, a very crazy, awesome card. And it's... It's interesting to see it come back to this level of hype. TG Hyper Librarian did get a little bit of hype. We see the secret rares go towards $4. I'm surprised they're not all gone, but a lot of people are like, yeah, they're gonna they're gonna re-hit this one. So they're not going too crazy. A lot of people were arguing if the jump version or secret was better. There is a prize card that's secret, but I think being in 5Ds, this will be far rarer because it's behind a $30 paywall and a huge set number. So I personally would get the secret rare, but yes, the jump holds a lot of memories for people. I would get this sooner than later. Dimensional Barrier, the Secret Rares went nuts last night, especially for the first editions. I believe they're like 10 plus dollars. You see there are 13 quantities left and the lowest, yep, $10 about. And the other versions getting slipped off market, except we do have a dude version of this. Almost as if Konami saw this one coming, huh? We see that in Dual Devastator, 
Yeah, we got very cheap holographic copy, so this is just for people who want to hollow out their deck. Thank gosh, I, I can't believe I'm going to say this. Dude turned out very well, and we need a second one of them thanks to this Master Rule mix-up. Goyo Defender's another penny stock to be looking at. It now works how it should, and uh, I believe Infernoids is who really like to use this, if I'm not mistaken, along with some other decks. So I'd definitely be considering little old Goyo Defender for some shenanigans. We also have Utopia Kaiser breaking out into the Master Rule. It went up a little bit last night. I do think it can do some crazy things. I would be paying attention to it. It only comes as a prize card or Battles of Legend Heroes Revenge. So this copy could start to get high a little do pay attention and crystal wing for the zulkin stuff as well as the wind witches people are starting to stare at this i would probably go first that original if i'm going for one but the battles of legend secret does look very nice and then behind that 30 dollar paywall it got a reprint in dupo but it was very easy to pull if i recall or is that Hot Red Dragon Archfiend? One of the two were. I think people will be after this throughout time, though, and we'll see it had maybe towards $5 throughout the hype, and maybe May and June heading up towards the WCQ. Tons of people are mentioning to me Raid Raptors and Black Wings. I think Black Wings actually have the higher potential now. Uh, come at me and don't at me but seriously with the raid raptor link coming most likely and then also also looking at force trick force trick tends to be used as a tool in other decks as an engine i remember like zoo draco abusing this i think Four Strix will find its way towards Luna Lights deck like that as an amazing enabler for Zephyros, and I don't know that it's going to find its home in the rogue decks that people are looking forward to much, but it, I think it will go up in price, but not for the reasons that they're thinking. So I would definitely be grabbing even my ultra rares right now. Look at that gap. That is crazy. Look at that. So I would definitely consider getting my ultra like maybe now. Formula Synchron Secret Rare didn't go up too much last night under market price. I would also be grabbing that as the most hollowed out version. Uh, there's definitely going to be multiple formats of Synchro abuse until Konami stops it. Among the most talked counters and chanted cards last night was Nibiru since we don't have Maxi. I think Maxi would have been in that conversation as well. And I would sure hope that we're actually getting it back. I can't believe I'm saying this. I hope we get Maxi back to three. It's a zero or three card. Please give us three. Along with Nibiru, uh, I think players are going to be getting this by the boatload soon. And the Megatons had its max quantity on market thanks to Black Friday. And I don't think we're going to see much of a replenish. So I would definitely... Consider this sooner than later as well. That's a lot of sooner than laters uh, in this market watch, I realize. But you're going to get waves of buyouts. You're going to get cool offs. You're going to get heating back up. You're going to be definitely looking at when to go for the cards versus when you get your paycheck. Artifact Sanctum is a card that can help shut off the entire opponent's extra deck. When we're talking Dimensional Barrier, it shuts off one part. And now you have decks that specialize in every single kind of summoning. And then it can't even stop Link Summoning. Sanctum brings out Scythe, which stops everything. And Scythe is very, very good. Now, this can still get Ash Blossom. There's counters to Sanctum at this point. But I still think that in competitive formats where we see things go ham, this comes back. And there's more ways to run Sanctum these days, thanks to Trap Trick. And the Ultra Rare is pretty cheap. And there's a pretty big gap starting on the Secret Rare, which is towards $10 right now. So definitely consider what copies you want of what cards. And let's take a moment here. Konami did a way better job with this Master Rule than I could have envisioned. That's why I didn't do many Master Rule predictions or really say what I wanted. They avoided printing a new type of card and adding a level of complication. They made a new format for people who want to go ham and crazy. And they also unleashed to the players who stopped playing maybe because of it, a way to XC summon multiple times, synchro summon multiple times without relying on link arrows. It is a pretty good day for Yu-Gi-Oh, I would think. And I, I understand there's a lot of apprehension with hand looping and the craziness that can go on. Uh, uh, speaking of hand looping, Cyframe Omega, I think, only has its one printing. Let's check in on Cyframe Lord Omega real quick. I just want to see something. Uh, he is a little up for his original copies, but is remaining eh, just a little bit up for these copies, too. This is a card. Another card I would consider sooner than later. There's so many ways that Yu-Gi-Oh can go right now, but I think Konami worked really hard on this in their considerations, and they blew everybody's mind. So many people were looking at restricting each kind of summoning. Instead, Konami rips open the floodgates and says, go at it, 
you have counters let's see what you got winning the dice roll may be very much more important so consider testing the decks you want a lot before going in financially but do make your decisions in a timely pace because you're gonna get those waves and that's just how the market rolls subscribe if you haven't already i am so mind blown that we hit over 50k before christmas like thank you guys so freaking much like the video if you enjoy the conversations and all the videos and be sure to make that live stream at 7 central it's gonna be a wild ride probably will end up on twitch only zodiac duelist tv later throughout the night but uh i'm really looking forward to just having a blast tonight thanks for joining everybody